is about to launch a podcast, uh, Jackson Singer and guitarist Kelly Bracey. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Bart. Good to see you. Welcome back to the show. I'm, I'm glad to be back. <laughs> I, I was telling uh, folks earlier that uh, I think the last time you were on our show, you were actually uh, performing, and this has got to be quite a bit before the, the pandemic. Yeah, actually, it was just before the pandemic, and I was doing uh, a ministry at the women's jail in, in Jackson, and I did a song that the women helped to inspire for me to write. It's, it was called Fight. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and wow, the COVID just kind of shut everything down. So, but now I'm back uh, and uh, doing actually a ministry in the, the men's jail. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's, it takes a special uh, person to uh, minister to those in, in jail. And you do that mm -hmm. through um, prayer and song. Yeah, praise and worship. Um, I'm a, one of the... Uh, praise leaders at uh, Chelsea Main Street Church and mm -hmm. but all my life I've done music and I I know the power of it mm -hmm. um, and worship music why worship music with the men because worship it, we're to worship in spirit and truth and spirit has to do with the heart it has to be authentic and knowing who God is and doing the music and the men sing by the way they have lyrics in front really? of them yeah and they sing and I when you worship when you sing it can open the heart and change the heart and then um, I, I give the message and and it's just very powerful now I don't do this myself when I'm with with the men there is another lady she's a counselor mm -hmm. we're a double team uh, we do this together and it's been very very impactful but the ministry was birthed can I talk about yeah uh, my background, it's very important, it's very relevant. Um, so my dad um, was a deputy warden, and when I was 18, um, I went to prison with him uh, because I wanted to be a guard. Mm -hmm. I wanted to follow in his footsteps, and he says, well, come to work with me. Well, the Jackson Jail at that time was the largest prison, not the jail, it was the largest prison in the world. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it housed over 5,700 inmates, and so I went to work with my dad, pulled in the parking lot, saw the gun towers. Mm -hmm. Very, very imposing, very, like immediately felt this heaviness and went into, through the gate and you hear that, that big clang, you know, and went through, um, you know, the commons where there's trustees and I saw the, the, the library, the rotunda. And then we went into central complex and I saw rows upon rows upon rows of men in their cells. I saw bars, I saw uh, pigeons flying out, but it just hurt me to my core to see these men. You know, it really impacted me. And what I understood now because of my walk with God and that that was, I was in the realm of spiritual warfare. There was no question about it. Um, and so that was a quiet ride home, <laughs> you know. And my dad says, what do you think? I said, dad, you know what? It's just not for me. And I don't know how you do this, you know, day in and day out. He says, well, Kelly, I'm there to make a difference. I'm there to make sure everybody does their job and everybody's protected. And what I do is very valuable. Everyone yeah. else in your family went into corrections yeah. except you. Except me. My three brothers um, worked as gar uh uh, corrections officers, we don't like to see guards anymore. Um, and then my grandfather started the, the parole board in Jackson County, right? John Alexander Trudell. And then my mother taught at the Huron Valley Women's Prison. So uh, you can imagine the conversations at the table, but it's kind of in my DNA. But what I've taken is I've taken my music and playing and you know, I remember calling my dad, Dad, I'm going into maximum security prison at the Richard Hamlin facility. This is like 25 years later. I said, Dad, but I'm taking my guitar and singing. And he goes, that a girl. You found, you found your way to serve. Well, you we know? asked uh, Sheriff Schutte uh, what the impact is at the <clears throat> jail. And he said the, uh, uh, that you bring in your guitar and share your love uh, of Jesus with the inmates and they've responded positively 
and they actually, actually actively participate in writing uh, songs alongside mm -hmm. you. And the sheriff yeah. said, you are a valuable asset and wow. we are incredibly <laughs> lucky to have her in our community. So that's pretty nice yeah. and making, making an impact. Yeah, now, for those well, of us that aren't in jail uh, or at the Chelsea uh, Main Street Church, yeah. um, you're going to be available uh, anytime, anywhere with a new podcast. Right. Yes. So the message, um, the podcast is called God Knows Your Name. Mm -hmm. um, the podcast came about because as I was doing these um, uh, praise and worship services, I'm only there on Mondays. And... The men came up to me, some of them, you know, look, Kelly, I'm, I'm going to prison. Where I'm going, I really need your message. Mm. Is there any way that you can tape it or, so it was not just one, it was quite a few. Really? I'm only allowed to see 15 men at a time. Uh, there are more that want to come in. So this is a way that the men and women, jails and prisons throughout Michigan, this is my goal, can access what I'm doing, what God's doing through me. Uh, what's, why God knows your name? Because this is very powerful. And this is where the, the tears start to fall. When I'm with the men, I strip it down. I, I, I says, do you even know who you are mm -hmm. in Christ? Do you know that God knows you? Your name means breath. It, Nemesha means breath. It means life. If you knew who you really were in Christ, it would change the whole narrative of what you believe in yourself. So God knows you. You being in jail for a season, for a time, however long you are to be here. Listen, God can, can work with you. He can, he can use you to help bring Christ to others, even to your own family, even to break those strongholds and those generational hurts and habits that are handed down to your children. So a lot of, I'm speaking to you men, I'm speaking to the families out in the community because I've had people come up to me and say, look, I have a daughter in jail. I have a son. You know, what, would, what do you, what do you, what is your message? I say, God knows your name. God knows their name. Pray for them. Um, I, you know, God has called them to a higher purpose. But here's the deal. For you to do great things, for you to overcome your hurts, habits, and hangups, your strongholds, Number one, I say this right to the guys, you, you, do you want to be well? Do you want to, to be cured? Do you want to change? Then ask God to do, do that for you. Because the Holy Spirit, that's, that's the only way you're going to overcome. This world is kooky dukes. And the guys laugh when I say <laughs> that because they know. They know first and foremost. Mm -hmm. But I'm really speaking also, this podcast is for... Um, Jackson County is for those that have loved ones incarcerated. Um, their heart is grieving, you know, get to know God, you know, pray for your loved ones. And you, you don't know? have to be in jail to uh, uh, appreciate the message. That your son said that when mm -hmm. we sat down and talked, I, you know, I, I said, look, these men and women, they're an inmate. They're a number. They're a ward of the state. But no, God knows who they are. He knows your name. Mm -hmm. There's only one you, Bart, in the whole universe. Only one, only one you with your physicality, <laughs> your personality, your thoughts, everything about you in the, in the whole universe and ever will be. There will be never anyone like you, nor me, nor you and you, nor the men and women in jail. And it's so important that they, when, they, when that light bulb goes off, then they know their worth. They know their worth. It's not who their parents have told them who they are. It's not what social media tells them who they are. They're, they're, all the likes does not define who they are. God knows their name. He has such a great promise. So the people you've um, uh, ministered to, uh, what kind of response do, do you get from them, um, particularly ones that you might have seen uh, more than once? So it's interesting. Um, when I'm in the jail, uh, I have the guys sign their names, and there's a lot of familiar, I mean, the same guys are coming, mm -hmm. and, new, and they spread the word. One, one, the, one. the reaction, the response is when we do the music and then the message, and I, like I said, I, Bart, I get, I get right down to the core, they cry. 
there's a lot of tears and I say, hey, you know what? I'm crying too. It's okay. Because when you soften your heart, that allows God to come in and change. You've got to allow mm -hmm. that. What's interesting, how impactful is that after I, the service, they meet in the com in commons and they start they talk about hmm. what they are learning or what they're experiencing and they're helping each other that's that's key too that, they well, that sounds pr pretty cool kelly and coming soon god knows your name with kelly bracy a new podcast wherever you uh hear or see your podcasts and it's i think you're starting in the next couple of weeks right I'll be meeting with Andy, and we're gonna we're gonna lay lay it right down. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. excited. I'm excited to be a part. All of right. Well, we'll let you know when the uh, first episode is out, coming soon. Good luck. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Can I take say one thing? Sure. Yeah. Vote for the millage, everyone. Please. It's the, I know it's operational. It's like so. It's a lifeline to the officers and um, the police. Uh, you know, operational millage. Please, please, please. They stand in the gap for, for all of us. So please, please vote. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Uh, host of God Knows Your Name, Kelly Bracey. Yeah. Uh, more to come on today's show. Uh, we'll meet the uh, owner of a new downtown business and uh, preview uh, a, a walk and uh, a run and an event with the Jackson County Military Coalition a little bit later. So stay with us. The Potter Center at Jackson College is raising the curtain on the 2024-2025 season. Join us for a night of 70s and 80s rock with Ambrosia, John Ford Coley, and Peter Beckett. Country music superstar Jody Messina. The legendary Commodores bring their chart-topping hits. Ring in the holidays with Christmas is in the air. And enjoy Motown classics with Get Ready, the Motown Tribute. Individual and season tickets on sale now. Go online or call the Potter Center ticket office today. Welcome to Vandercook Lake Public Schools, where we believe every student is a star with unique talents waiting to shine. Whether it's the arts, sciences, sports, or technology, we're here to help you explore your interests and unlock your full potential. Our dedicated team ensures that you're not just prepared for graduation, but ready for the workforce. Join us at Vandercook Lake, where we celebrate diversity, foster talent, and prepare you for a future filled with endless possibilities. Believe, achieve, and soar at Vandercook Lake Public Schools. As a proud partner of Frankenmuth Insurance, Barker Weber operates under five distinct values. Integrity, we will be honest and fair. Stewardship, we commit to responsible management. Empathy, we understand how you feel. Mutual respect and trust, you'll always be our valued partner. Dedication, we'll work for you wholeheartedly. Barker Weber and Frankenmuth Insurance, your local insurance solution.